the Joshua Sutherland Maiden Stakes is next. It's another two-year-old race. And remember there's an argument for more two-year-old races in the first two weeks of the season because this is another massive field. Nine furlongs this time. And Animal Kingdom at the top four, Dan Hughes Blitzer. Joshua Sutherland El Paso Latak for Vinnie Geron. Gullock's Colony, Thomas Rogers. Goldmine, David Robertson. Knight of Knee, Padre Hogan. Road Dog and Rude for Matt Cooper. Sea of Burma for Darren Thompson, Sing the Blues, Joshua Sullivan, Sword of God, Jim Murray, Victory Bond, Martin Lidham, Waterloo for Paul Rhodes, Alba Flora, Dan Hughes, Angel of Death, Leon Van Rensburg, Hatsumomo, Surprise for Derek Hinton, Katie's Treasure, Craig Beckwith, Over the Line for Craig Allen, Still Water for Obi-Wan and Isabel for Padre Hogan, so 20 then, and they have got to go around a turn this time, I think, I think it comes up pretty quickly. They're all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And he's going to be the first one to get out into the lead. Looks like Sword of God who's got the inside. And he's in front from over the line. Still water right over on the far side. The grey has also got a really bad draw out there. It was Victory Bond. But it's Still Water who's got the lead then there. And Still Water gets into the lead. From Waterloo and Angel of Death, Victory Bond recovered from that bad draw. Is next, then comes Sword of God. Isabel is now the one widest on the track as they now take this turn. It's going to rule out quite a few of these at that far side, I think, unless we've done something with the bias as we did at Dubai last week. But it's still Water who's clearing the lead by a good five lengths to Waterloo in second. Victory Bond is third, and then Angel of Death is fourth. Sword of God is fifth. Then El Paso Latak after that one. Knight of Knees next. It looks like the Danny. Hughes horses were the ones that came off worse with a turn, but it's still Water who's in the lead. From Waterloo in second, Victory Bond is third, and then after that one comes Angel of Death, Sword of God is next, is still four furlongs to go. El Paso and Attack is after that one. Then over the line down on this near side, Blitzers up the centre of the track, the grey trying to run on is it's either Rude or Road Dog, one of the two of them. I think it's actually uh, the. I don't know. Anyway, still Water in the lead, being chased by Victory Bond, then comes Angel of Death. Up the centre of the track, El Paso and attack in the green is coming through to challenge. Sword of God is there, so too's Waterloo. They've got two furlongs to go, and still Water for Obi Wan is still in the lead. From Victory Bond, the grey in second, then Sword of God, Blitzer, and El Paso and attack. Galax Calonese next as they come through to the final furlong, and now all of a sudden it's the Jim Murray or Sword of God who takes it up from El Paso and attack. Blitzer's coming through with a run, finishing really fast over on the far side is Sea of Burma, and Sea of Burma is absolutely flying into the final quarter furlong, and Sea of Burma is beginning to pick. But Sword of God fights back, and I think he might have just held on. Sword of God he just held on from the absolutely flying Darren Thompson horse, who's probably one of the ones caught out by being drawn wide. Sword of God's taking it. And let's take a look because it could be a dead heat it is a dead heat it's sword of god for jim murray and sea of burma for darren thompson and i think with sea of burma drawn 16 you can pretty much say that if darren thompson's horse had been drawn lower than that it would probably have won on its own so not to take anything away from sword of god sword of god definitely got the best draw draw one sea of burma got one of the worst and they dead heated third was blitzer for joshua sutherland fourth Sing the Blues for Joshua Sutherland as well. And fifth was Waterloo for Paul Rhodes. And I think what we learn from that is either let's have two nine furlong races on week two next week or move this one to Newmarket.